All right, guys, today is the day. We are finally putting these brand new wheels from Dynamic Forge on the Z06. We got our RWD C8Z engraved on the side there, Dynamic Forge on this side. We're gonna be testing a couple things out on the Z06. I've got 20s up front, 21s in the rear. The rears have 15 millimeter spacers on them. So today we're gonna be testing out the fitment of these aftermarket wheels. Hopefully, we'll be able to get a really flush look without any spacers. From the factory, the fronts come with a 10 inch wide wheel. We went with a 10 and a half front wheel. So that's another thing we're gonna be testing out. Hopefully when we get it locked out, either all the way to the left or the right, we won't have any rubbish on the inside. There isn't much clearance in the front of this tire when you got this thing completely locked out all the way to the right. So hopefully we won't have any issues with that 10 and a half inch wide wheel. Just wanna make a quick observation and see how these wheels are sitting now. So this is a stock wheel with no spacer from the factory. This is how it is for the Z06. It's in about I don't know, just a couple of millimeters. We're looking for that or maybe just a little bit more out to the fender. I'd be happy with that. And then our rears, we are working with a 15 millimeter spacer from Paragon Performance. And we are at right about to where the front is. It kind of matches the front really well. Um, it looks like, you know, in about maybe five more millimeters. So I'm okay with it being at that point right there or just a little bit more out would be nice to match the front if it comes out as well. The tire sizes are exactly the same, so I don't see any issues there. All right guys, so we just got it on the ground, got it installed, it's a little dark so it's hard to see the wheel. We'll get it out in the sun and check it out in a second, but look at the fitment for the tire. It's perfect. 10 and a half inch wide, lined up perfect. I don't think it gets any better than that. It's literally flush, no spacer, a little bit better than OEM I would say. Check out that versus, get it over here, that. I would say that's a little deeper in, about just a couple millimeters, but this side over here, whoo, it's pretty close. It's pretty perfect, I'd say. One of the things I'm hoping to accomplish with these new wheels is to lose a little bit of weight in the corners. So let's see what a stock wheel and tire weighs. Granted, these have a little bit of an advantage because they have about 8,000 miles on them, so they may have lost a little bit of rubber. 57.9 pounds. We'll call it 58, just to make it easy math. Brand new front wheel and tire from Dynamic Forge. Let's see if we lost any weight. We gained some weight. Oh no. So we were kind of expecting that with the fronts because we did go with a wider front tire. I went with a 10 and a half inch wide front tire instead of a 10. Had bit wider. So obviously it's gonna be a little bit heavier. More material, more rubber, more metal. All right, stock rear tire, here we go. Let's see what we got. 70 pounds even. All right, here we go. This is where, this is the one we wanna lose some weight on. Let's be a little bit less than 70, come on. Oh no, 76 pounds. Well, unfortunately we did not lose any weight. We actually gained some weight. So that's gonna hurt us in the zero to 60 and quarter mile times, but we're gonna be looking pretty dang gum good when we're doing it. Yeah, so 76 pounds, 70 pounds. So we gained six pounds on each rear wheel and tire. And then our fronts, I think we gained about the same. So we gained about what, 24 pounds? All right guys, let me show y'all the passenger side really quick. So these are the OEM machine face wheels. I love these wheels, they look awesome. Very classy looking, very clean looking. But here we go, the new wheels from Dynamic Forge. Check that out. Guys, the fitment, I can't get over it. It it couldn't be more perfect. It just comes out just a little bit more on the driver's side than OEM, and this is OEM, so it's just in just a tiny little bit more. This just brings it out perfectly. Like, oh, it's too perfect, it's too perfect. And then the rears, check this out. Look at that, look at that fitment. You guys know the Z06 has terrible fitment from the factory. They sit in like 20 millimeters in. This side shows 15 millimeter spacer on there and it's still in this right here, this offset. Oh my God, it's perfect. They've got the fitment perfect. They got the size perfect. No need to worry about that. If you got a Z06, they got you.
guys, there she is, all done. Wheels and tires are installed on the car. I think she looks great, fabulous. The rollers came out awesome. The fronts have no issues with rubbing, turning all the way to the left or all the way to the right. There's no rubbish whatsoever, even getting out of the driveway, no rubbish, so we're great there. The rears, again, no issues sits perfectly flush. It's either exactly the same as what we had with the spacers or actually it might just be out just a few more millimeters. And then the front is basically the same thing as OEM, maybe a millimeter or two out. Unfortunately, we didn't lose any weight with these wheels. The stock wheels are about six pounds lighter on every single corner, but Dynamic Forge does make a bunch of different styles. They've got some lighter designs. Go check them out. There's this one design that looks like a Ferrari wheel that I really liked. And guys, Dynamic Forge gave me a promo code to give to you guys. RWDC8Z is gonna get you guys $200 off your set of wheels. Most of these wheels are around $2,500 to $3,500 for a complete set of all four wheels, which I think is an amazing deal, especially with all the different designs that they have. Everything is made to order, so it's gonna be about six to 10 weeks till you get your wheels, but you can customize them to exactly the specifications that you would like. Guys, I think that's gonna do it for today's video. Huge shout out to Dynamic Forge for sponsoring today's video. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Later.